Hey guys, I've got another little project here. I uh, just got it from the shack. And it is a sound of light unit. Basically, well, I mean, it's got a built in microphone. We're going to use that circuit board there and the parts involved. And uh, basically, it has a microphone that listens in and triggers the LEDs to uh, whenever there's sound. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So what we got here is a wonderful little Ziploc bag with all of our LEDs, that would be the microphone, transistors, uh, potentiometer, two pin potentiometer, that ought to be interesting, uh, capacitors, our battery socket, I believe this, yeah, 9 volt battery socket, <coughs> excuse me. circuit board printed wonderfully labeled we got all our little resistors so I'm probably gonna end up going by this picture just because it's simple uh, so we'll see how that works out and then you do that and you got your wiring somatic which I'll hold right there you can pause screen capture um, got some other labels here so we'll work on that so I've gone in and put all the resistors on and uh, just so you can see it better get it on my spotlight here while it auto focuses hopefully and we about got it Oh well, you can pretty much see it. It's not going to cooperate. There we go. But yeah, soldered all that in. Had to leave some leads going uh, to, for clean soldering purposes until I put some of the more, uh, or some of the other things in. I'm going to put the LEDs in next. So. Alright, I got my LEDs in. As you can very plainly see, I have all the leads cut for that. Still got a few leads for when I put in the transistors, but all in all, it's starting to come together. Next is transistors, so that should help. As you can see, I've put in the um, transistors here. Uh, these three are uh, BC547s, and this one's a BC557, for any of those of you that have been keeping up with this. So, uh, yeah, next is capacitors. As you can see here, I've got my three normal capacitors and my electrolytic put in, and uh, next is the trimmer, which is a small potentiometer, but yeah. I got the trimmer in, and I got the knob on it, and I just wanted to point out to anybody that's making this at home, uh, there is an extra contact down here that it isn't used, but it doesn't actually run to anything, it's, I guess just in case you have a uh, different trimmer than the one that I have here. I would guess a smaller one, uh, maybe a mini potentiometer or something like that. Uh, I use one of those in one of my other projects and it would probably fit that. So, get that and we got the microphone and then we'll, I'll test it out. So, so uh, well, camera fell. That went well. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, it detects my voice. I do have a 9 volt battery strap to the back, it's very handy. So we're going to try, and uh, now it's off, can I turn it up really high, So yeah, it has sensitivity, that's what the trimmer's for, we're going to set it about right here for our purposes, going to 
that out of the way. To, excuse me for a second. While I do this. Turn it on its side. Well, put it right there. Maybe we can get this to work. This is how we get things done. Can check if I'm right yet, because I can know. So we're going to put something behind it to stabilize it for now. Uh, and we're going to just pick pick a song because that's what we do here, apparently. As of a couple seconds ago, what we got going on. So that works, and we're going to try Contrast. Excuse me. Well, that's cool. So that's about a total elapsed time for project building would be roughly an hour. And that's because uh, I had some problems with my soldering iron. And uh, yeah, I didn't feel like burning the place down, so I had to take a break. But aside from that, um, I think it's a pretty neat project. Uh, Reminds me of, oh, what's his name? Something Cunningham. I want to say Connor Cunningham, but that doesn't sound right. Anyway, Cunningham works with Max Magazine, and he made a, uh, for music, but I think you actually plug it in. Uh, it's an LED matrixing thing that works with uh, sound, but his is based with three 4x4 four four grids, side by side of blue, yellow, and red LEDs and each one detects a certain frequency so if if the sound is low uh, one set would come on and vice versa and mid-range almost always stayed on but so I mean I guess this is the basic but with a microphone I guess this is the basic idea of that uh, but yeah uh, any questions just put them in the comments they're either below or under um, some stuff that you have to switch around on your iPod or phone. Um, as always, if you are interested in my videos, subscribe. Uh, if you have any requests uh, that aren't like a couple hundred dollar makes, uh, I'll do those or I'll try. Um, I do have a lot of videos that I have uh, kind of a backlog of them right now that I've got to put together and then upload so I'll be getting on that soon um, but yeah oh um, forgot to mention this is by Velleman it's the MK 103 RS and there's your uh, barcode 
So, oh, made in Europe. <laughs> well, not bad. But yeah, so here's from the Sound Delight unit and Robert Welch. I'm out.